Whoa. Uh, oh my god, that's so scary. Hello everyone, today is going to be epic, but first I need this. Ah, I have a huge bit of piping here, and I'm going to try and fit it onto the wheel in some way to make the rear wheel super drifty. I've done it before, not long ago, but the piping we used kept splitting and it meant that it didn't work properly. So I think if I just cut this into small little portions and then cut it open, they'll just hook on and then we'll have a perfect drift wheel. So let's find out. Straight into the action then, I'm gonna just try and cut a little piece of this. Okay, so my idea is have one of these. I'm gonna cut a little slice in it there. Perfect. This is where we see if my idea is gonna work. Hopefully it doesn't snap going on. Oh my God, it's so easy. Right, we just need a few of these and we have the easiest to produce, make and excite ourselves with drift wheel. Right, so me and Louis ended up doing some cutting there. I put all of them on and now we have a full wheel full of these plastic things. But is it gonna work? I'm not really sure. They're kind of moving around, but I think this could be the ultimate dream. Hopefully they don't pull off. I think the tire is big enough to hold them in place. So, oh, I wanna try it on the road right now, but yeah, I'm gonna do one little pedal down there to see if it's gonna work. Oh yeah, right, we don't even need to try it anymore. That's insane. Right, we have to go right now to a new spot. Let's try version two of the drift wheel. This is gonna be the best day ever. <laughs> We've come to the first spot to test out this new, better version of the drift wheel than last time. We're outside the art gallery. The floor is so slippy, the bike doesn't even like stand up, look. It's insane. So, I'm on the e-bike for some extra assistance for the drift. Let's try it. Oh my, that's way too slippy on there. Wow, that is insane. <laughs> it's too much. And let's have a look at the damp. Like nothing's even happening to it. This is the best but it's gonna take a bit to get used to. I think this floor might just be too slippy. Let me try and get a good one. Then maybe we'll have to move to more grippy surface. Whoa! <laughs> it definitely works better with speed, because then you don't just spin out instantly. Right, I'm gonna get a massive good one now. Oh my God! <laughs> What we're going to have to do now is tape each of them individually to the rim. I've got some tape, let me go and grab it quick. I think that little bit extra support there is going to make the drifts work perfectly. Yes. Oh. Right, let's move to another spot because this floor is like super slippy and then on here it's way grippier so I think if we've got a different material it's going to work like the absolute dream. Let's get out of here. We've come up now to the same car park that we tested when we last did the drifting. This material is not as slippy as but over there, that was crazy so hopefully it's going to work like the absolute dream. Oh! Yes! <laughs> I've got to get an epic one into this corner. That'll be so dreams. Oh. Yes. Oh. 
No. Okay, actually, we're stopping that. The e-bike was pretty good, but these things keep coming off and it's really hard to stay upright. So I've decided to pull them off. And we're actually gonna put them on the back wheels of the quad now. And then hopefully this is gonna be the ultimate drift machine. Okay, we have the plastic on the quad now and I've come to kind of a small warm up hill. I'm gonna start on these sort of cobbled stones because they're super slippy. I'll run up there and then get a little drift on, see how it works. Oh my God. Oh, it's insane. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, that's the dream. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> no way. That's incredible. I've just, uh, I've just found the best thing on earth. That's insane. I'm gonna get a little run up down this road here and get like a nice little perfect drift around this corner here. Bit of speed. Initiate. <laughs> oh, yes! That is so good. I can't believe that. Let's find a way bigger hill. <laughs> I've come over to one of the steepest hills in Colchester. There's not much traffic on here. I'm gonna wait till it's clear and then just send down there. If you look that way though, there's some extra grippy sort of yellow stuff. That's because there's a crossing up there. So I'm gonna to have to be on the other side of the road there, but whatever, let's work it out and get drifty. Oh yes, it is so good. <laughs> Ray! This is epic. Whew. I've found a super sick proximity drift zone down here, tight around this corner, and then off into the tunnel of doom. Proxo. Oh, yes. Oh, pretty good. Let's find a more open bit now that we can proper carve and miss obstacles on the way down through. I've come into town now. This is Red Lion Yard. And there's loads, there's a little hill here and there's loads of things to go in and out of. Louis, you can stay about here and I'll just have the time of my life, yeah? Cool. In and out of these for shouts. Oh my God, I was almost gonna hit it. Oh yes. Oh, it's so good, look. That is actually, oh, through this gap. Oh no. Yes, please! <laughs> I thought I was going to be a big ending then into that wall. <laughs> that is incredible. Dropping. Let's get props right around here. Ooh. Oh my god, that's so scared. Oh! <laughs> oh my god. Incredible. I lost half the wheel though. See, look, I now have a snake. A snake of driftiness. I think I can just stick it back on actually. Just lay that down. I'll stick that on and then we'll hit one more spot of pure doom. To the next spot, Louis. We've come now to the final hill of the day. This is quite a steep one and actually super close to home. This is the stunt drift. I'm gonna stand on different parts of the vehicle whilst drifting the whole way down. Let's get it. Let's drop in with the seat stand drift. Oh my God. Oh, that is so scared. Onto the back. This is the scooter drift. One-handed. Oh yeah. Yes, this is so good. <laughs> yeah. Fakey. That is the dream. I can't just end it there. Louis has been filming all day. 
stoked, smiley and excited. It's your turn. Take this thing for a drift. I'm actually, wow. Oh my god. <laughs> That was pretty cool, but quite scary. I think it was way easier than the trike because that's why I nearly died like three times. <laughs> so yeah, cool though. Nice one for trying that, Louis. Just before we end, I've just seen that we can do a rear steer bike, look. It's like a new thing. Oh, that's actually pretty good, to be honest. Oh my, oh God, that is so out of control. Oh no, it's broken. Oh no, oh. Oh, for that little bit of silliness that wasn't even funny. Something just snapped. Oh, it's the Fox shock that's on the front, look. The suspension's actually given way, look. It's just like bird off. Okay, it's not that broken. Anyway, on that actual bombshell, that is the end of the video. Hope you guys enjoyed it. That'd be awesome if you leave some comments and it'd be sick if you subscribe. See you in the next one.